Hey folks, and welcome to this video on how to create a custom function for ChatGPT in Google Sheets. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple request like this, where we can just pass in a simple prompt, or we can go a little bit further and adjust the maximum tokens and also the temperature. We'll look at how to extract some information from some text within a cell using ChatGPT. We can translate some text from one language into another using this drop-down chip here and the ChatGPT function. And finally, we'll look at how we can create custom social media posts using various different parameters to generate a response. So with that said, let's dive in and take a look at how it's done. Okay, so the first step you want to do is head over to platform.openai.com and create yourself an account with OpenAI. If you've got one already, then great, we can move into step two. Once you've created an account, you want to open up a brand new spreadsheet. Then you can name it and you're ready for step three. So in step three, we're going to head over to extensions and open up the app script editor window. That will open up a new tab in your browser. You want to clear out this my function. We don't need that, so we can delete that there. And let's just name this. And then if you head over to my website, I'll pop the link in the description box below. You can grab the full script, which you can just copy and paste straight into here. So there's the full script there. We're just going to replace this part here with the API key in order to get this to work. So let's head back over to the OpenAI platform. And if you click on the icon in the top right hand corner and then view API keys here, if you've never created an API key before, just click this button here and a window will pop up offering you to copy the, the API key. Just copy that. Once you've copied it, you won't be able to access it again. So make sure you copy it ready to paste into the script next. So I've got mine already. So we'll head back over to the script and I'll paste mine in here. Next up, we want to just save the script. So command S or a control S to save or just click the save icon up here. Then we need to run the script from here for the first time to verify the permissions. So we just click this run button here. So just click the review permissions when that comes up and this window will pop up. You'll choose your email address shown there. This is the function, which is the function we've just created back here. So choose your email, and you're just going to give ChatGPT, this function behind us here, access to an external service, which in this case is the OpenAI service. Just click allow. So you can see that's executed okay and completed. So that's our permissions verified there. Now we can head back over to our sheet and test this out. So just click in any cell in your sheet and type equals GPT and we can choose this. This is the custom function we've just created and we get these three parameters. Now we only actually need to enter this prompt. We can leave these two empty if we want to and I'll talk about those in a moment. So you can do this two ways. You can either open up double quotes and type your, your question in those double quotes and then close the parentheses. And if we hit enter, that will connect to this OpenAI chat GPT and give us a response. So there we go. The other way we can do it is we can type the question into a cell just like this. And in another cell, we can say equals GPT and we can reference that question with a cell reference like that. And then close the parentheses and hit enter and we'll get the response in here. So it's, you can do it either way, um, depending on how you want to do it. You can see the responses are different and that's because of the uh, temperature that we're using. So let's talk about the options for creating the function. So if we do this one again here, now, as I say, you can use this just with that one parameter, the prompt. If we expand this here, you can see. So the, the prompt is mandatory. You'll need to enter that in in every single case. That's the question. The max tokens and the temperature you can see are optional. And if you leave them empty, then they use the default value of 100 for the max tokens and temperature of one. You can change these within the script or you can just do them on the fly within the sheet here. So let me show you both ways. So if you put a comma and move into the max tokens argument, you can type a value in here that's larger than 100 or smaller than 100, depending on what you're looking for. The size of that token or the larger that number, the more comprehensive the response will be. So if we put something like 500 in here for the max tokens, we can just close the parentheses now and hit enter. And that will use the default temperature of one in this case. And you can see that the response is a little bit larger than previously. And so if we were to try that with a different temperature now, we can put another comma and move into the temperature argument and we could put zero for example which would be more deterministic or any, anywhere from zero to one basically but one is your default hit enter on that one and that one will give us 
a, a safer response essentially. If you use the value of one, then it's a bit more dynamic. So that's the, the basic way to use the function. And as I say, you can really expand upon that and use it in those other examples I've shown you. And I'll go over that in a moment, but just quickly, if you feel that the 100 value and the temperature of one isn't to your liking, just come over to the script and you can change those values here. So if, for example, you always want your max tokens to be 300, just to type the 300 in there and you always want your temperature to be set to zero, just put it in there and then save the file. This is unsaved right now, so we'll just save that. And the next time you use the function in the sheet here, if we just take these out, that will use those new values, the default values of 300 and zero from your script there. So depending on how you want to do it, you can change it here, or you can just type them in each time you use it using those parameters within the function. We'll just take a quick look at these examples here. Obviously you've seen the simple request. The extract function that I've put together here uses the concatenate. If we highlight this here, you can see it creates a sentence using the concatenate. It's concatenating all these things together to create the sentence. And it's asking to extract the email. In this case, we're asking it to extract the email here from this text. And that's using this GPT function as the wrap for the whole thing. And a similar sort of scenario for the translate. I'm using the drop down chips in here. And I've got a video for that. If you haven't seen that, I'll pop a card up above so you can check that video out. But in this one, similar sort of thing with a concatenate, but we're asking the GPT to translate this text here into Spanish or whatever language you choose. You can choose something else from down here and then the chat GPT will go ahead and translate that. And then finally, the social media posts. This one's quite an interesting one because we use the whole GPT function. We're concatenating this to create the sentence, to create the, the question, if you like, the request. This, is, this forms part of the prompt. So this part here is actually our prompt. And then this part is the max token. So we're getting the max tokens from this cell here. And then the temperature, we're setting that to one. And so you can see we're just, we're asking the GPT to write a Twitter post about health and fitness tips in an inspiring tone of voice with 70 tokens and a dynamic temperature of one. Make sure you go check out the post on my website at spreadsheetwise.com. There's lots of information there about the custom function in Google Sheets with ChatGPT. You'll find the full script here, of course, as well as details about all the GPT parameters that are used in the script. I've got full details about all the max tokens and the temperature all in this post, so make sure you check that out. And there's a really interesting part about the tokenizer tool as well. And I go into more detail about how to use those custom functions in here. If you found this video useful, guys, please make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. It'd be great to hear what your thoughts are. Tell me how you might like to use this function. Put your comments down below. But that's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye.